Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Let's Play. Now we're going to be doing a Let's Play on the game called Code Vein. Now Code Vein is an action role playing game developed and published by Bandai. So it was released last year in September of 2019, but I've seen nothing but great reviews for it. Now it is a post apocalyptic dystopian environment with vampire themes and played from a third person perspective. Now from what I've read, the game is actually inspired by the Dark Souls series. So for those of you that are fans of the Dark Souls or you just haven't got enough of those, this is definitely a game that you may wanna check out. Now we will be doing a Let's Play. We'll be walking through the main story. And in addition to that, after we're done with the story, as you guys are aware, we will be doing how to's, tips and tricks, etc. Now, in addition to that, this game also does have a season pass, so there will be new DLCs coming. Now, there is a DLC that already came out for it, and DLC 2 is expected to drop in late February. So I definitely wanted to go ahead and get this Let's Play out, try to figure this game out right before the second DLC comes out. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and do this Let's Play. Thank you all for tuning in and watching, and I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Okay. Graphics are they're decent. Your final years are you clear headed? You will now be reborn as an immortal creature, a revenant. There are things you will need to know in your new life, so listen well. Each revenant has a different power coursing through their being, called a blood curse. The best way to learn about it is to try it for yourself. Check your blood code. Okay. Revenants possess special powers known as blood codes. Depending on the specific blood code, a revenant's stats will differ. Okay. To view these stats, select the currently equipped blood code on the menu screen. Um. Okay. And, and where would that be? Oh, blood code, fighter, jeez, it's right in the middle. Okay. So, boast endurance for melee combat raises abilities based on strength and dexterity. Alright, so we got your basic RPG stuff here, HP, stamina, weight, I don't know. Oh, I guess that's how much you can carry. Strength, dexterity, mind, willpower, vitality, fortitude. Okay. Okay, Blood Veal. Gift, Light, Gift, Dark, Drain, Attack. I don't know what that is. But, alright. Try equipping adrenaline. All right. Temporarily boost attack power. All right. Iker and gifts have been reset. All right. Try using adrenaline. What is up with this combo right now? Okay. Try defeating the lost. Oh my, you are one ugly creature. Okay, lock onto the enemy. Weak attack, strong attack. Okay, dodge, guard, switch weapon. Whoa, what is that? Let's hit him with this bad boy. Wow, wow. Fighting mechanics seem decent. Well done. Ordinarily, a revenant has only one blood code, but you are different. The blood code you once held was broken and has vanished. 
dapat niyang hirit intin ko sa dulo. I hapon ni tayo sa chong jo hapo. Kam, yek tipi ko niya sa. So I'm pretty unique, I guess. A ranger. This code excels at providing support and defense buffs with gifts. Okay. You acquired a new blood code. Uh, yeah, you can definitely see negative attack, negative HP. So they're more of a support character. Using your blood bond will let you quickly drain icons in your mouth. In addition, this can increase the amount of icon you can hold. If you have a chance to drain icon from a foe, use it. Okay, so icon is important. I'm so used to pressing L2 to aim, okay. got me okay so shoot far away got it that's pretty neat I like how they added a gun aspect healer Caster. That makes sense. Typical RPG. Specializes on powerful attack type gifts that can be used from a distance. That is what is called the caster blood code. Casters possess powers like magic from a foe attack. With it, you can use gifts to fire projectiles of blood. Icor and gifts have been reset. Try using Bloodshot. Okay, so this, 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 this. You learn quickly. Bloodshot favors range over health. Let's see. Try learning another gift. You can learn gifts by touching this area. Try it yourself though. When you are near a missile, rest missile. When you rest near a missile, you can also acquire gifts contained in your blood codes by selecting Acquire Inherit and increase your gift proficiency. So I'm guessing this is a missile? Alright, what are we inheriting? Fighter? Oh, for a caster. Blazing Roar. Shoots an intense flame at the target. I will take that. Do you want to use? Yes, I definitely do want to use this. Okay, so I'm guessing these are other ones. That wasn't hard, was it? Now since you've learned it, why not try it out? I'm ready. All right, so we're gonna put this over here. And then am I a caster? Okay. Oh, that's a gift. Okay, wrong one. Powerful gift that punishes foes. However, its cost in Icor is high, so be careful that you use it at the right time. I don't even remember how to use it. Its power will change according to the blood bear you acquire. Blood bears have different affinities for gifts. It can be complicated, so keep it in mind. I can't believe I remember that. 
Shoot him. Easy peasy. Well, farewell, my friend. Revenants were created by implanting an engineered boar parasite into the heart of a human corpse. By holding the parasite's invasion at a, cent at a certain level, hosts were able to maintain their own volition, but revival could take years depending on the individual. Okay, so this is what I like so far. I like the fact that they have like your basic, you know, tank, DPS, caster, whatever. Because obviously there's an online mode, so it just makes it, um, makes it so you have more options, more flexibility, right? Welcome back. Hello. How are you feeling? Remember, this is a post-apocalyptic dystopian era. Big words. Don't worry. It's okay. I don't remember either. Over there. See, graphics look graphics look great. I didn't really know what to expect with it. Okay, I am. I, don't, I think I'm fatigued. I'm running low on water. Yeah. He, yeah, he is not okay right now. We're all right. Get this man some water. The spring is like a thirst. I have been... What was that? I didn't catch that. Everyone, everywhere is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst, one that wakes tears of blood. That's what they said when they left. This way. She was bitten in my arm.
yourself it is you I'm guessing that is not cherry flavored This is for you. Okay, so we're both vampires. Got it. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. She does not seem the slightest of worried. So I got a mask. What is this? Whoa, okay. Alright. A little scared of heights here. This one's dry. And my asthma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. All dried up, just like the others. Y yeah, all dried up. So there's more sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's. You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. I'm guessing the masks have blood in them, and they're kind of like a Don't. storage. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there. You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. You heard him. Move it! Hey, ouch. Hey, you okay? Looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Look at that, my first friend. Ruin City Underground. Okay, Area D12. Alright, so I'm hanging out with Oliver. Resting at so when you rest near a missile, your HP and regeneration uses are stored along with your i -Core. However, your i stock limit will return to normal if it's been increased by gifts. You can also acquire gifts contained in blood codes by selecting acquire inherent gifts and increase your... Okay. Lastly, beware that defeated enemies will revive after you rest near... Okay. Oh, 
A law shard. Alright. Pretty decent. Not too hard. So you can definitely tell where the gameplay is very similar to Dark Souls. Lost Shard, okay. See, now this is the part where I'm like... I, oh! Well, nobody... Who would put a hole there? Alright. Let's try this again. Oh, they revive, okay. I core cons concentrate. Looks like I can just kind of spam these. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh, this must be rare, Lost Haze. Maybe not. Using an upgrading regeneration, so HP can be recovered through the use of regeneration. Resting their missile will refill your regen stock. The number of regens and the amount of HP recovered can be increased using regen extension factor and regen activation factor. Regeneration can be used as items while exploring. Okay. I don't get it. Oh, I see. Okay. Is there something good in there? Ooh, a heavy axe. I got a pipe right now. I should probably change that. Let's see here. What is this? Hammer of Thrall then? I like the axe. Each piece of equipment has stat requirements and weight. Exceeding your weight limit restricts your ability to dodge attacks. Not meeting the stat requirements greatly decreases your attack power. That's interesting. Equipment can be changed from the menu screen. Both a main weapon and a sub weapon can be equipped. These weapons can be switched out. Okay. Alright. That makes sense. I, you know what? Definitely a lot more damage that way. Queen Iron. So far, so good. Retrieving Haze. You lose any Haze in your possession when you die. This lost Haze can be reclaimed. Okay. But only the Haze that you possess at the moment of your death can be collected. If you die again before collecting it, the uncollected... Okay, it'll be lost forever. Oh, and I just knocked him off the ledge. What's that doing? I core concrete or concrete. Jeez, concentrate, focus state. Your focus gauge will fill uh, as you get hit or dodge enemy attacks. Once it is full, your stamina will be replenished, and you will enter a focus state. You become harder to stagger and can more, more easily stagger enemies. You also gain the ability to knock enemies into the hair and perform a drain attack on one. So R1 triangle. Okay. Mine's not full at all, so. Oh, he's got a shield. Okay, so heavy attacks. He's a ranger. Alright. Pretty straightforward. Lost broadsword. Ooh. 
I like how much damage the heavy weapons are doing, but I mean, if it's, you know, if I can increase my speed, lose a little bit of damage, I'll do that all day. Not a big heavy weapon guy, you know what I mean? Door number one. Alright, so I'll probably switch to my heavy just because he can block. Alright, here we go. What is that on the ground? What in the hell? Looks like a muck from Pokemon. Yellow book, okay. Look out. Above us. Whoa, another muck. That's what we're gonna call these mucks. Extremely ugly little things. this mapping during the exploration when you purify the miasma in the area you'll be able to map your surroundings you can purify miasma by activate a missile uh purify a rotten missile defeat the lost and infected with a rotten okay so purify it sweet all right what is this way real quick Information about the controls and hints on exploration can be viewed at any time. Yeah. Got it. Nothing? I feel like I'm not supposed to be going this way. Whoa. Dead end. I'm trying to cover everything. So, didn't they pass us earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? the hell <laughs> that could have gone better I'll catch up with you in a bit <laughs> don't worry about me I'll be all right go on <laughs> you just focus on finding some blood beads all right that girl is waiting for you You say so, man. Alright, so now we're kind of by ourselves. Whoa! Uh, what in the hell is that? Oh my god, it is huge. Oh, whoa. No way. I'll take that. Okay, I I really want to see oh, what's this over here? Dagger, huh? Interesting. Alright. 
I am... Um, I guess I could always heal. Yikes. Okay, definitely needed to heal. That was supposed to break their... Alrighty then. Okay, I like I don't know which way I'm supposed to be going. I keep wanting to press X to block. Oh, whoa! Gotta try to dodge the attacks better. I'm doing horrible at that right now. Alright. Secret. Secret way. Rare. Oh! Oh! Let's switch this up. Really? Get out of here. Oh, daddy. Awake. I like have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. It might just all lead back to the same way. At least that's what it looks like. Oh, look at that. A message from a hot girl. Okay, that looks like a mini boss down there. Nothing? Alright. Go to this guy. I have to heal. That's my main concern right now. You can level up by spending haze when resting at a missile. Leveling up. Okay. Let's level up real quick. Okay. Let's do... Let's do fighter for now. Unleash a combo on a nearby target. Okay. Attack power. Let's do... Let's do this. How do I do this? Oh, those are already learned. Reduce the stamina spent while focus. You discovered a gift's latent potential. Once you become fully proficient, okay. Okay, I'm all out of whatever it is that I need. All right, storage, I need some heals. I have none. Okay. Let's go ahead and fight this thing. It does not look friendly. No way! 
Whoa! Okay, so stay away. Holy shoot! Just kill him! Oh, I'm dead. Yo, his moves though. Wow. This is tough. Come run at me, come run at me. Woo! Come on. Really? Oh my gosh. Alright, round three. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I need to pick that up. Crap. Okay, so what is that? The, the fourth time I've died? I have to figure out the fighting mechanics in here. Like, I get them to a degree, but... Okay... Was tough. Queen Slayer Thorn. Mm. Definitely enhances stuff, but takes away on some of my stuff as well. Better physique, better gifts, less. Okay, slash. Eh, I'll keep this. Okay. Let's keep going. I have almost... N oh, I have heals. Well, would you look at that? Alright, I just want to rest again real quick before we go on. Level up. Oh, I don't have enough haze. How much haze do I have? 201 okay let's keep going then I guess are you a fellow explorer it appears you're alone I'm on my own at the moment too I was hoping for a partner for the path ahead what do you say would you mind working together at least until we're through here don't, don't worry I'm not going to stab you in the back. The miasma and the lost here are enough trouble as it is. Th 
Thanks a lot. I'm glad to work with you. Okay. Well, that helps. I swear, man, if you try to stab me in the back, it's over, though. It's over for you. Um. Good to be with you. I don't know if I want to fight that thing. Let's go take care of these other trash mobs here. Oh, you're a ranger. Okay, lost shard. There's a guy with a big... S oh, my gosh. Okay, we got another one. Block. Where'd the other one go? Okay, you, my friend. How do I get rid of you? Hey, guess what? I got a gun, too. I don't know, I may just go full ranger. Seems easier than the combat stuff. Display is valuable. Let's use it well. Well worn tool, okay. Feel a boss fight soon. Okay. There we go. I think that's what I was looking for. Your blood has special properties that can activate dried up blood spring. Once revived, the blood spring will start producing blood beads again. These blood beads have the same composition as human blood. Revenants have been using them to quench their bloodthirst. Alright. Well, that's pretty, uh... That's pretty unique. I think you just saw my special power. Level up a little bit. You discovered a gift's latent. Okay, yeah. Temporarily creates a bear around you and your partner that boosts a blood resistance. Okay. Okay, so it looks like you can have different partners too. Blood guard. We're not far from the surface now. Queen Slayer Blade. Now that that sound nice or what? Let's see here. Uh, let's put that as my first. I'll put this. Let me see. Let me see. What does it look like? Ooh, look at it. Shiny. All right, let's go. I like how they save the like one of the best weapons for the end of the dungeon, or you know what I mean. Similar to Elder Scrolls. 
makes you want to run through a whole dungeon. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you ain't messing with me now. Icor. Mm. Okay, so we have to go that way. What up? Whoa, that was that was close. That was close. God damn. Right. What's that? Purify? Oh, okay. I forgot you can activate them or purify them. I think when you purify them, it just basically opens up your local map. Never come back. Cast aside your death. He's not playing right now. Okay, so he's got a heavy weapon. At least his attacks are slow, but they hit hard. I gotta see kind of like how he attacks. So there is a combo. Woo! Oh, I don't know what that is. Yikes! What is that thing? Yikes! Yo! I need to heal? Yo! I gotta heal up all the way, bro. God damn. See, my only, I guess my only issue is that when I go to hit right away, it just stops it. Okay, so you can definitely dodge pretty easy. That's not cool. Let's finish it off, buddy. Whew, Juggernaut Sledgehammer. Nice. Hey, both of you. All revenants must pay a levy. There are no exceptions. Our best ditch. Best to stay away from those stones. Anyone who touches them is defiled, transformed into the lost. Don't listen to their whispers. Someone has to be sacrificed. Don't do it. 
Without blood beads, we won't make it. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. Do I touch it? Do, do I touch it? Oh, man, I don't know. Do I pick it up? Do, do I do it? Whew. All right, I'm going to pick it up. Oh, man, I shouldn't have picked it up. Wait, I knew it. You... Let's go. It'll swallow you up. It's all right. You can do it. Okay, max level right now. What the hell? Um, okay. Please let us keep them just this once. We won't make it if you take them. All revenants must pay a levy of blood debt. There are no exceptions. Sorry. What are these, just memories? I'm so confused as to what is going on right now. Main are under Sylvie's control. Wandering revenants like us are forced to hunt for blood runners and face death. Even if some revenants must be sacrificed for our survival. Well, I guess you reap what you sow. One of us makes it. Oh, he's the one that defended me, sacrificed himself. This is a memory echo. Okay, that's what I thought. It's where lost recollections still wander. Come, let's move on. If you use that stairway, I believe it should take us back to the world outside this memory. Oh, I wonder if this is um, Oliver's memories. That's why I keep seeing him so much. What the hell was that? It was a memory carved into that vestige by the one who left it behind. Yep, which is Oliver. Okay. I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it too. We both melted into you. I can't believe this. What a power. Come with me. I know a spot where we can rest. I'm Lily. I'm researching blood beads. Nice to meet you. Did you say Louis or Luis? Gonna call him Louie or Lou short Berserker Vestige Core. Okay, Berserker code owner Oliver Collins features high strength and endurance. Its low I core stock can be offset with heavy armor. Oh, it's a new blood code. Okay. Definitely. 
The Red Mist showed up a short time after the Queen was defeated. And when it did, it trapped everyone and everything inside, giving birth to the Society of Revenants ruled by Sova. The Jail of the Mists. As time passed, that was the name people gave to the world inside. Creatures trapped inside the miasma wander in a never-ending cycle of death and rebirth. Always searching for blood beads to sustain them. Revenants need to have blood. Without it, they turn into those creatures we call the Lost. The Revenants who captured you were desperately searching for blood, terrified of losing themselves. It's a common fate these days. But ripples are beginning to form. You cleared the miasma and revitalized the blood spring. Where did you learn to do that? You've forgotten? unusual, losing so much of your memory. I suppose it was the same for her. For now, just take it easy. Get yourself at home. Home base. Enthralling magazine. Okay, stop music. Talk to Luis uh, to gather more info. Okay. You're an unfamiliar face. Coco. Uh, stuck his head into another pot of trouble. Well, it's none of my business, really. Anyway, I'm Coco, a merchant by trade. Stop by if you need anything. That's pretty cool. All right. Can I Sorry. see Jim now? Uh, okay, I guess not. All revenants carry some secret with them. Don't do anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louis settles down. Okay, so he doesn't have a nice name. To meet you. If Louis brought you here, there must be some reason, right? I'm Rin Marasame. I provide the back home support for all the explorers here. It's a pleasure. I've got my own reasons for why I can't go into combat with you, but I'll provide your weaponry and maintain it for you. Sweet. Anyway, relax and make yourself at home. Mirasame. Got quite the collection going on here. There this you big are. bald guy. The Revenant that Louis sees so much potential in. I'm Davis. I go around for the provisional government as part of the investigation into the depths. Just as a warning. Try not to stir up any trouble. If you do, I won't be able to do my job. And, well, you get it, right? What do we got here? A Ducati? A Duval? That's pretty sick. I guess I should uh, activate this while I'm here. Or rest. I guess it's already activated. Level up. Oh, I got a lot of haze. Okay. Nice. I don't know if I should be saving this or what. You know what I mean? Easier to stagger enemies with your weapon. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure if I need to stick to one specific uh, blood code or what.
right, guys. Well, I'm going to stop it right there. Uh, just because I, I realize that obviously that's the first mission or the introduction to Code Vein. So from what we know, we are in a post-apocalyptic world. Everybody here, I'm assuming, is a vampire. We're basically looking for blood beads. Now, for some reason, I'm special and my blood can actually be used to make more of these blood beads. So... Pretty interesting fact. So far, so good. The fighting is great. Obviously, there's a lot of comparisons to Dark Souls. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So as I post these videos, you'll get notifications for those. So don't forget to hit that notifications bell. Um, in addition to that, let's go for uh, let's go for five likes on this video. Let's try to get past that goal. And if you guys have any comments and stuff, go ahead and drop them below. As long as they are not spoilers, okay? I know a lot of you have played this game already. Don't drop the spoilers on me, alright? But with all that being said, I'll see you in the next video.